the estranged husband of a woman who allegedly beat their 13-month-old daughter to death and left her twin brother lighting for his life has died after throwing himself from a Manhattan hotel. The body of Mohammed Tarabi, who lived in Queens, was found on top of a third-floor air conditioning unit at the Renaissance New York Hotel on East 57th Street on Saturday. Police believe the 31-year-old plunged from the roof of the 17-story building 24 hours earlier. Cops told the New York Post that he didn't leave a note, but they are investigating his death as a suicide. He fell to his just two days after his wife, Tina Tarabi, 30, was arrested and charged with brutally beating their twin toddlers, killing one of them. Officers arrived at their queen's home on Wednesday to find their 13-month-old daughter Elena with horrifying injuries. She had burns, open wounds on her upper body and thighs and bruising, while brother Kean was suffering fractured ribs, a broken leg, a laceration to his liver, and more lacerations all over his body. Both children suffered bruising to their groins. Medics say Elena's body showed signs of prolonged abuse. The pair were taken to hospital, where Elena was pronounced dead, while Kean was being kept in intensive care, the New York Daily News reported. Share this article Share their older siblings Mila, 2, Nadia, 4, and Ariana, 5 were also taken from the home and are now in the care of Children's Services, the New York Post says. The husband's death ended a troubled marriage marred by drugs and violence. The couple had married in Houston in 2012 and lived in Texas before moving to New York to be near his relatives. Sources familiar with the case have said Mohammed at some point turned his wife, 30, onto drugs. Last January, Tina won an order of protection against the Mohammed which has been repeatedly renewed and ran through October 10. We knew the dad was no good and didn't want him anywhere near the wife and kids, the source said. The twins were on the city's radar since their birth last year, having been born with opioids in their systems. Concerns were raised about the children's welfare from the moment of their birth, when opioids were found in their systems. Tarabi has been under the watchful eye of City Child Services ever since, with workers reportedly visiting her home two days before the children were attacked. The Daily News reports the infants were taken away from Tarabi to be raised by her mother for six months until the older woman moved back to Texas. Mohammed was previously arrested for choking Tarabi and she filed for an order of protection against him. He also has a prior conviction from 2015 for assault against a family member and is currently wanted in Nashville for failure to pay child support. However, he was not at home at the time of the beatings and is not considered a suspect in the case. The Daily News reports that Tarabi broke down in tears on the sidewalk as her dead and dying children were loaded into nearby ambulances. She was questioned by officers throughout the day on Thursday, but refused to give answers about their wounds. Investigators have since charged her with felony assault against Kean, while awaiting an autopsy report from Elena, before pressing further charges. Judana Caballo, a neighbor, said she was stunned to learn Tarabi was a suspect in the beatings, saying she was a dedicated mother. She was an absolutely a beautiful person who adored her children, Cavallo said. They were always well kept and nicely dressed and well taken care of.